Hey, this is Help Me Out Videos reviewing the Type App email for Android in this case, but they also have an iOS version. Specifically, I'm looking for an alternative to Google Inbox since that has gone away. Um, Type App's pretty sharp. It's a, it's a strong alternative. It's not uh, it's not meeting all of my needs, but I'm a I'm a pretty particular Inbox user, so I'll show you what it can do. Um, it's got a nice, clean user interface uh, with regard to how it renders the, your email list. That's uh, something that I find Gmail lacks, which is why I'm still looking for an alternative. Um, they also support, uh, importantly, this thing item called clusters, this feature called clusters, where they will group automatically emails from either a conversation on a thread by subject or um, all of the emails from a particular sender. Uh, either a person or a bot, such as a subscription, an email subscription you might have. Um, that's really nice to clean up your inbox, to have them grouped together. So you can see there are six items in this one cluster. Um, what they lack, though, is uh, features like the pinning a group to inbox, like um, G Google Inbox did, where it would... Um, automatically organize emails into certain uh, labels for you and then pin those labels. You have the option to pin those labels to your inbox so that they were there in front of you, but they were grouped together in one line item. I missed that. They don't have that here, and I, I can't find a feature that, that looks like it'll support it. There is also this personal view uh, where you can actually see only the, the people that are in your inbox and uh, it's, it's really clean, as you can see, and it also supports this clustering. So that is a really nice feature, um, but it won't show you anything that's coming from a subscription or a bot, right? The attachments are actually rendered. Uh, they make an attempt at rendering them quite nicely so you can see what's inside without having to open. And again, here's another view of what it looks like inside of an email. It's pretty sharp, pretty easy to, to see what's going on. One of my favorite features here is swiping. Just like in Inbox, you can swipe emails left or right to perform certain actions. Um, and in this app, the swiping actions are very customizable to a point. And I'll get back to that point in a minute. But the really nice thing is they have what they call short swipe and long swipe. So if I short swipe to the left, I've got three buttons here that uh, I can completely customize what, what actions these buttons are. And then I can choose one of the three actions to perform on that left short swipe. I can do the same with a right motion short swipe and have three different buttons configured for that. Really powerful. I really was excited when I found that feature. They also have long swipe, which essentially means if I swipe all the way to the left, then the, the button to the, to the far extreme is the one that will automatically happen so that I don't have to follow up with a click. Same thing with a long swipe all the way to the right. Really powerful feature. On that clustering, when you click on an actual contact icon for the cluster, you can then see all of the emails within that cluster. It's pretty handy. Uh, again, a nice way to, to kind of get to the point of what you're looking for. These are all the email providers they support. They also have a night mode so that you can have a, a, con a kind of a low contrast um, view and it'll automatically switch between day and night. I did find a bug with this though, um, and I reported it. Um, so where it was kind of, uh, when it switched back to day mode automatically, I couldn't read anything. So I had to actually um, kill the app and restart it to get that to start working. But I'm sure they'll resolve that shortly. Um, there's a desktop version. And um, the desktop version, uh, good news and bad news on that, it's uh, available for Windows and Mac in beta, but they don't have a web version. So for people like me who are just using Chrome, or Chromebook, uh, there really is no desktop version. And so I have to stick to my, my phone if I want to use this application. Now, I, of course, I could go just use Gmail on the web, but that's kind of defeating the purpose because I like to have a consistent user experience. The, um, the, the thing that I didn't mention here, I'll go back and show you really quickly, is the clipboard view, which is kind of... Um, for items that you snooze and you want to come back to later. The nice thing about that is, uh, I'll show you my, uh, my preview here. You can see those items that are snoozed and, and when that you will be alerted um, about those items. So whenever you click the snooze option, you can choose between 
um, later today, tomorrow, next week, those kinds of things. Um, then you can also swipe them to done. What's a problem right now is that the swiping action in this view doesn't seem to be customizable. So if you've, like me, taken advantage of the custom features and, and, and configured the buttons on the main inbox swiping, then you come to this view and you start swiping and it's a different set of buttons and, and, and that's really annoying because you've, you're trying to train your mind to do those swiping actions without thinking about it. Then you come to this view and start swiping and um, uh, the, the, the buttons are different. So that's, that's a bit of an annoyance at the moment and I wish they would fix that. Um, finally, I would say that I have reported some of these things to customer support. At first they were very responsive within 24 hours but then the, the, my last few questions, I haven't gotten answers to. So as, as of right now, the verdict's still out as to whether they have excellent customer support or terrible. I'm not sure. It's somewhere in between at this moment. But um, yeah, that's my review. And please subscribe to this channel for more reviews on other apps as I try to stumble and find my way to uh, the perfect inbox alternative. Also, YouTube will only support my channel if I can raise the number of subscribers. Thank you for watching.